y'all welcome back to another vlog so today is thursday um i just got home from kroger because we are cooking or we are eating beef stew tonight y'all want some y'all can't some. so um i didn't pick y'all up at the grocery store because i've been to the grocery store a million times y'all know what it's like to shop at the grocery store but i will do an un like unpack grocery haul i don't know uh, so i got some beef broth I got some uh, beef base. I heard this make your um, stew pop. I got some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I got some cheese because I'm making some cheesy garlic bread. I normally eat my like meats and roasts and whatever form that type of form with rice. I'm gonna cook rice for Chris because I know he's not gonna want no cheesy bread. But I'm just gonna try it with the cheesy bread because the girl on TikTok said you try it with cheesy bread. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I got some of these thin Reese's uh, white uh, peanut butter cups for like my cheat days. So I'm going to put these in the freezer. I like my uh, chocolate hard and cold. And then I got some uh, cherry sours. Y'all, this candy slap like slap again for my cheat days. That was loud. Um, I got a ranch packet to go in the beef stew because this also makes your... Um, Anything with like gravy and stuff, pop. So I got that, I got some tomato paste. I got some more garlic, cause the garlic in there, I, I think it's old. I got some more garlic and herb. We run through this season and like crazy. Uh, I wanted some smoked paprika, but why Kroger don't sell smoked paprika? Oh, I get it from Walmart. I got some garlic bread. I wanted some long like um, loaf so I can cut it how I want. And then I got, some celery to go in it, some potatoes. I got the small petite potatoes. You know how I think about it, I could have just got two potatoes and just cut it because it's not gonna be that many. I don't know, whatever. I got some baby carrots. I got an onion. I was about to say, am I recording? And of course, the chuck roast. You can get it like chopped already, like the beef still cute, but I think it tastes better with the roast. Y'all got Chris a cook. That was giving these away at work. He loved tumblers, so I'm gonna get him this. Um, what else I was about to say? Y'all, people don't use umbrellas no more. <laughs> That's another reason I didn't pick y'all up because it was raining. I was the only one out there with an umbrella. Everybody else just. Walking with, but I'm not getting wet. Give me my umbrella. So, um, this weekend, what we got planned? Oh, we gotta go to wash the comforter so we can redo the room. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm so we're gonna do that, and then y'all hate my arms. Like, I if I ever get rich, I'm getting life with my arms. Like. I don't care. It look like I cook good chicken. Like the body, be body. But then you look at this, like girl, even if I work them out, they're still gonna be thick because I used to cheer for nine years, like I told y'all in the last vlog. So it's always gonna be that thick muscle there. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go, so we can do the, go wash that at one of the, go find a laundromat somewhere and wash that. And I would like to go to Ikea, depending on how the weekend's looking, to get two mirrors to go over our nightstand. And then probably go to at home and find some more plants to go in there too. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how the weekend play out. We really don't have anything planned. But like I said, we'll see how the weekend play out.
plus. <laughs> this came fast. This is so Chris mom sent us this stuff. If you don't know what Juice Plus is, you can look it up. But it's uh, a vitamin company. So she got us. She got, I asked for some smoothies, so that's what this is. Dang, she said a lot. I'm not going to be able to finish all this before it expires. So I got some plant-based uh, protein powder, and it's the fruit fusion. So it's like the fruit kind, the, like the berry kind. Uh, this expires, oh, it expires to 2025 of next year. So I got time. So got two of those, period. Oh, it come with a scooper. Okay, I need to open one of these and put the scooper in there. I'm gonna wash it first though, because it's in that box. So I got that. And this is the, what the box is like. Gotta find some recipes for that. I got some, she sent me some complete, oh, some complete bars. They're protein bars. Oh, dark chocolate and fig. Mmm. Let's see, this is a lot in here. I'm looking at the expiration date because I need to see if I'm gonna be able to finish them. Oh, here it is. Uh, these expire to, uh, this year of August. I think I can finish these. I'm about to try one. I'm about to try one, cause I'm hungry. <laughs> and the food not ready. So let's try one. This is what the pack look like. Maybe y'all can see that. Hold on, it's focusing on me. There we go. This is the pack look like. <laughs> um, whole food based nutrition bar. It's 10 grams of protein, five grams of fiber. And I think fig makes you poop. <laughs> it's 170 calories. Let's see. berries in here oh it's the fig duh <laughs> that's pretty good for it to be a protein bar okay what else you got you got some fruits and veggie vitamins this is the box of white and it has this is for chris he likes taking these but i can probably get one he can get one I don't like the veggie blend. I like the fruit blend. The veggie blend tastes funny to me. But um, these are the fruit blends. And these are the veggie blends. And these have um, blended fruit and veggie juice. And these have blended fruit and veggie juice. <laughs> it's just this one has I guess this one is more fruity taste. I don't know, y'all. But it's two of those each. Yo, that bar is really good. Hmm. I like that. And I got one more thing in here. Let's see. Mm. This is what I want. These protein shakes. Well, I have these too, but this is what I really wanted because it's vanilla and I love vanilla. Anything vanilla, I love it because, like I said, I love creamy stuff. So, this is a French vanilla um, whole food based shake mix. It's the same as this, except they're in individual packs. Which is fine. They gonna work the same way. Um, let's see how much time I have to eat these. Oh, these expire at the end of the year in um, December. So these are individual packs. And it is, I don't know how many in here. So that's that and y'all, it's four of these boxes in here. <laughs> 
Good morning. Today is Friday, the next day. And I'm just sitting here not doing nothing. I'm about to read my Bible. I just had some breakfast. I just had some tater rounds and some pineapples. Y'all know I love my tater rounds. But um, I was sitting here thinking, y'all, I'm going to do some spring cleaning this weekend. I want to shampoo our, um, what's this, our couch. I want to shampoo that. I want to like mop and sweep like really, really good. I'm going to do that anyway. But I want to clean out our pantry and pull everything out the drawers, clean out the drawers, clean the fridge, like actually scrub down and clean the fridge. And let me show you how the pantry, hold on. Okay, this is our pantry. It's not junky. I just would like to take everything out and wipe down. And cause y'all know how sometimes like seasonings and stuff can get on here, maybe like some oil or something. I don't know. I just wanna take everything out, check the dates on them, which to my acknowledgement, they're fine. And just, you know, tidy up. Like here we have like our canned goods and extra seasonings. Cause y'all know we got a seasoning drawer, but these are like our overstock seasonings. This is our junk um, shelf, like nothing but junk, like junk food. <laughs> and then here we have our oats and our teas and our vitamins and stuff up here. And this shelf is like our flour, rice, pasta, um, bread, chicken uh, broth, beef broth. And then up there is just miscellaneous stuff. I got like a sparkling water and my, what's that? What the thing called? My circle thing that's what my circle bottle came in but i put like my packs in there and then i got some protein i know that protein expired so i need to throw that away i got some hair oil sitting up there that's been marinating for about three months which i need to drain i have um some vegetable wash up there but yeah i just kind of want to tidy this up it's like i said it's not gonna happen today these are just like bags extra bags and stuff it's not gonna happen today so yeah i don't know like I said, I want to do it tomorrow and just like spring clean everything. I do want to wash. Oh, I'm about to go on Amazon because I'm going to get our patio together. It's starting to get warm. I need to wash the, like, I don't know if y'all can see, but the patio pillow cushions, those come off. I got one here and then one there. And then that's some turf. So we need to go out there and sweep because I know it's bugs everywhere, like dead walls and stuff. And then we have a table right here. That fake plant keeps falling over, but that's okay. I'm going to just pretty much go out there and sweep, wipe everything down. Maybe mop the towels, cause I got like some black towels right there. And get everything ready for springtime, cause like, we about to be outside. Okay, we gonna utilize this patio. And I got a screen that I'm gonna get from Amazon. It's gonna like screen it in. That way the bugs won't come in. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And then today I have a dentist appointment at two just to go get my yearly cleaning. I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna come back and go to the gym. And then later on tonight, we are either gonna go downstairs and get in the pool or we're gonna go out to eat. We're gonna walk somewhere and go out to eat. I don't know. We getting out this house today, okay? Y'all coming with us, y'all coming with us. <laughs> so y'all, I got here and they talking about they on the staff. Why I didn't call and tell me that? Cause I could have rescheduled my appointment. And if it's gonna take longer than 30 minutes for her to come back in here, I'm rescheduling my appointment. I ain't got time to see her all day, baby, it's Friday. Okay, y'all, so I'm done getting my teeth clean. I stopped at Wingstop. <laughs> I'm sorry, today's a cheat day, cause we probably gonna have to eat tonight. I ain't going to the gym today. We're gonna go tomorrow. But these fries are different, look at them. They so fresh, cause I went in and ordered. And they good too, I like them. So I'm back home. And I'm about to smash. I haven't had Wingstop in I don't know how long. Why did I think Cajun? I thought Cajun was um, a dry rub. This ain't dry. I thought this was a dry rub, but I got three lemon peppers, three Cajuns. I got corn trying to be healthy, but I'm like, I don't want that. I can eat corn by itself. I want surprise. So that's what I did. Yeah, so I'm about to eat this and probably, I need no paper towel. Probably wait on Chris to get home later. I'm probably not even gonna be hungry. If we go somewhere, I might give me a little appetizer, but we can stop rich. Hit. 
But anyways, I'm gonna eat this and chill out. I might still go to the gym. Chicken wings. <laughs> Chicken wings. So here's the fit. Did I tell them where we go? Oh, I did. I fit my makeup tutorial. Y'all don't have to go on my TikTok and see it. But here's the fit. Chris said my boob is out, but not really. This shirt is kind of like distressed. It's like cut up. So it's like a sweater. And I got these on with the last down. And then the makeup is makeup mm -hmm. I look cute. You want to show them your fit? Mama. Show them your fit. Show them your fit. We always do y'all like that. Look, oh, it is cold out here. Show me your fit. That's what he got on. Hey, you been gonna force it on me. Yeah, that's what he got on. All right, so we're at Bar Louis. I got five pieces of stuff. That glare with these lights, I'm sorry, y'all. Ooh, we we'll probably set the bar. I thought you were about to pick me up and put me in the seat. So y'all, I'm thinking about getting this flat bread. I wanted a barbecue chicken flat bread, but they only got buffalo at this location. So. Cause I am pretty sure I'm going to be stuck closing tomorrow. I was the last day. I got this beach bomb. So. Yeah. Okay, so I got this beach bomb. I'm going to try it. It's good. It tastes like something. I don't know, I feel like I've had this before. So, this is my flat bread. Chris Wings. This lighting here is terrible. He had a drink. She should put that in a regular glass. <laughs> Y'all, we told that. Oh, like we didn't leave a crumb. We normally. <laughs> we normally have leftovers, man. We didn't have nothing. I don't think I was that hungry because I had Wingstop earlier. But Chris still sipping on his look. Well, I got another drink. And it came with a side of champagne, like a shot side, like a shooter. And he just poured it in here, so he drinking that because I didn't like it. So, yeah, they playing me. They been turning the music up for us. We asked them to turn the music up. But Chris did. We're back home. I forgot I had this shirt on with my titty out. I mean, my boob out. <laughs> <pool belt. laughs> We're back home. Shirt night. Cause tomorrow's a long day. Hey y'all. Uh, hold on, let me turn the TV down. I need a new tripod. My freaking tripod is a leaning like bro. <laughs> I am about to get ready to go to Hobby Lobby. And well, first of all, good morning. That was rude. It's the next day. I woke up at nine o'clock and I started my spring cleaning. I cleaned out. Man, this contact is bothering me. I might need to switch it. I cleaned out all the drawers. Well, it wasn't much cleaning to do. I just took like the silverware holder out, cleaned underneath it, took the parchment paper full organizer thing and the Ziploc bag organizer. Thing. Just took everything out and cleaned the drawers. Cleaned the seasoning drawer. Um, I cleaned the pantry. I threw away. Y'all can see a little bit. Uh, I don't feel like cutting light on. <laughs> I threw away some stuff that was old and expired, and then I put, y'all can't even see, up there, all the way at the top. I put, um, what do you call it? The protein stuff that I got from Chris's mom. Thank you. <laughs> up there at the top, I just organized it and threw away the stuff that was expired and cleaned off this shelf right here, because that's what a serve is, and it was pretty sticky. So I did all that, I mop swept, and now I'm about to go to Hobby Lobby. I'm switching my purses out now. I'm about to go to Hobby Lobby and see what sales they have. I want to see if they got a plant. Like I said, I do want another shelf. I want a picture to put in the bathroom. So I'm just about to go see what they got. Not too crazy, not nothing too crazy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna take y'all with me, of course, per usual. And I'm gonna put this purse back. I'm gonna put this stuff up in here. Uh, why I got so much junk? 
in this purse. Where's my... Got some shades. Which I barely even wear shades. I buy them, but I don't wear them. I, it depends on what outfit I got on. But, okay, let's go to Hobby Lobby. Before we go, y'all, look at my tripod. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> It came off. It broke. I don't know how that happened. Like, I waited all this time to find you, and you just break on me like that? Wow. So, I found some sheets, but I put them back because they're these. Don't judge me. I put them in the wrong spot. So, they're these. These are beige, which is the color that we need, but they're $27. And I really don't want to pay $27 for walmart sheets like i paid it for home goods you know stuff like that but i think i'm gonna just wait to see if i can find them better if not i'm gonna come back here but i like these to as a throw on the bed with that burnt orange this is the color this is the color orange that it is so just imagine this is the comforter that green just that olive green just pops man but it's 19 dollars for one one throw i don't think i want to do that I do need a wax warmer though. My wax warmers cost so much, y'all. Ooh, this one's cute. This one's cute. Uh, $15. Oh, sorry. The rest don't like, like $19. I like this. Where do I? Mm -hmm. So they got some at $7, but. I'm kind of thinking like you get what you pay for and I don't think it's really going to do good. But I don't want to pay $20 for a wax for me either. I don't know. So y'all, she said they don't have any more faux plants. That's why I haven't been seeing them. But I like this planter though. Especially this one. For when I get the big plant to go in my room. I really like that. Mm. Let, me, let me price check it. Hold on. Okay, I'm being really indecisive. This one is 12 and that one's 30 You don't want to pay $30. I'm being cheap. That's what it is. Ooh, look at this one. I like this one. It matches with the room. Hold on. Okay, this one is 22 which is much, much better. But it's a two-pack. Wait, is this a two-pack? This can't be a two-pack. Extra on it. It'll add more brown to the room. I think I'm gonna get this one for when I actually get a plant. I'm gonna get this. I like this. Uh, nope, no, I don't. I'm thinking it's gonna clash with the gold. It's gonna clash with the gold. I already know it. Ugh. Okay, so now I'm over here in the nails looking for some nails. I don't like any of these. What are these? I just want some plain white nails. Gel like charm. 12 piece nail tips on nail glue. I don't know. They look stupid a little bit. <laughs> How much are these? They in the wrong spot. I don't like none of these. These look fake. These actually look better. I don't like any of these nails. These are so childish. What the heck is this? This is an eyeshadow palette. These are cute, but $8. Just want them to pop off in a couple days, and I don't like that shape. I like those in that color. But they are, ooh, uh, these are fun. Hold on. These are fun. I'm getting these. These. Okay, so I got these green ones, these fun yellow ones, and the white ones. So I'm gonna get these and I'm gonna go. Okay, change of plans. Chris just called me and said that he's ready because he's coming with me to the laundromat um, to help me. Not help me, but I don't want to go to the laundromat by myself. So he's coming with me. Uh, he said he's ready. So I am probably, well, no, we still need a sheet. Because we can't put the comforter on the bed without a sheet. And the sheets that we have now are black. That's not going to match. So we're going to have to go before we go to 
what I'm trying to, oh, I'm not gonna babe, go to Hobby Lobby then. I might, I don't know. We'll see, we're gonna have to go get a sheet first though. Yeah, I did a little detour because these folks said they have a yard sale. This all they got. There's a couple chairs and a workout machine. I probably just too late. I don't know, but that ain't no sale to me. So we're at the lobby. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sign is cute. Home. These are on sale. Yes. This was 34. I think I'm gonna get two of these. Cause I want a tall one in the corner. What kind of plant is this? What's this? Mini ficus. You like this, babe? Watch, watch he say no. You like this? <laughs> Fluff it out a little bit. And then put a pot, put it in the pot. So this gonna, I was thinking putting it, you know, with that fan at in the corner or on your side in the corner. Cause it's, it's missing something. What you think? That one costs more. Which one you like? What are you doing? <laughs> what you get up there for? <laughs> Babe. Which one you like? You just say you like this one. Which one are you talking about? I do like this one too. How about we get one of each? How about that? Huh? How about we get one of each? He is no help at all. I'll call you back. No, that's too little. That don't look right. You have to do aesthetics. You're a man. You don't get it. Well, I'm asking you to do like the plant, not the pot. And then you cover it with stuff, and then you put beads on top. I like this plant. I'm getting this. And then one. Of, do you like that one? Yeah, I like it. I don't like the leaves on that one. And that one is really similar to the one in the living room. You think that looks better? It's too... I don't know. What about that one? That one up there? I kind of like how that one flared out. Nah, that ain't gonna fit. No, that one cocked to the side. One more. Try that one. That one right there. How much is that? They took the tag. 44. How is that one shorter? Okay, hold on. People coming. No. I like this one, y'all. Well, we both like this one. But it's too short. The plant is too short. But if I get something to lift it up. I think this one could be cute. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get this one. I like how it's flared out. I don't like this at all. It looked stupid. This one's okay. But Chris don't like it, so I'm not gonna get it. I think I'm gonna do this one. And just lift it. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, so this vlog all over the place. I don't even remember the last thing I told y'all. We, I took Chris home because I could tell that he really <laughs> was getting tired of going to stores and I need to go to back to Walmart and go ahead and get those sheets. So I just went and took him home. Um, we did not wash the covers at the laundromat because it was $9 just to wash covers at the laundromat in the big, in the big washing machine. Where laundromats get that expensive? I remember when I got my first apartment out of college or out of high school. I was actually in college. It was like my sophomore year. And I had my first apartment and it, it, it didn't come with a wash and dryer hookup. Uh, I would go to the laundromat and wash my clothes for like, what, like all my clothes for like five, six dollars. When did it become nine dollars for one load? 
<laughs> like i don't know if it's because we in texas now and in memphis it was a lot cheaper i'm sure that's probably what it is but baby i just don't think it's logical if i'm coming to the laundromat that must mean i can't afford a washing machine and nine dollars is pretty steep but anyways so yeah we're just gonna suck it up i i don't think it's gonna fit in the washing machine chris said that he think it will so i'm gonna let him try to put it in there and we'll just see so he's gonna try to put it in the washing machine at home i think it's gonna give the the overload error message but i don't know so i'm about to run and get these sheets so i can put the um what do you call it the room makeover on the on this vlog and i'm gonna upload this so y'all can get this vlog tomorrow which is sunday but i did get the plant and the pot well chris took the pot in the house and i got a picture we got a picture for the bathroom so i'm gonna show y'all all of that and after we do this the house is pretty much done like i said um the only thing left is a picture ledge i want to do the pictures in the hallway and then the two mirrors in the bedroom and that's it okay so where were they y'all have to pee so bad uh, these this. I also got these rocks to go in the pot when I stuff the plant so I think this should be enough these 98 cents loading all this stuff so Chris can come get it but this is the picture that we got for the bathroom this is a picture of the Eiffel Tower it's so cute it was on it was 50% off it was on sale so I think it rang up like $12 Okay, so this is everything we got. It's on the floor because it needs to be washed. And I'm out today anyway, so mind your business. But this pillow right here, so plush. I'm about to wash that. I'm about to wash all these pillowcases. This throw. And then the plant. I love this plant. It's cute. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so while I'm waiting on the um, blanket to finish washing, I'm gonna put these white ones on. And I don't know if y'all saw them clear in the store. I'm gonna show y'all again. So these are the the fun ones. Y'all see? There we go. They're yellow, which is my favorite color. Gold, and then the pineapples. I'm gonna probably put the uh, yellow ones on all the nails except this finger and my ring finger. And then on my pointer finger, I'm gonna probably put a pineapple. And on my ring finger, I'm gonna put a gold one. It's gonna be super cute. And then I got these. I think this is the prettiest olive. And then it has some designs with gold on it. Can y'all see that? Uh, it's why I need to start using my camera. It's a glare, but y'all see that. There we go. It's pretty olive. This is a pretty uh fall color but hey fall is gone i'm still gonna wear them because they cute and i'm about to put these white ones on i'm about to go get my glue hold on so it comes with a, um, its own nail glue but i'm sure this nail glue don't really hold so i'm gonna use this kiss nail glue and let's see they look pretty good come on thing Oh my God, it's not opening. Yeah, I'm about to hot glue my freaking tripod back together because I'm not about another one. Not right now. Not right now. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let me pull y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing. I don't know how we can do this. Um. Hold on. Let me glue my tripod together first. Okay, so I can't get it back glued together, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to buy another one. Um, let's see. I'm probably just speed this up. this brand no more they look like veneers 
they're not ugly they just i don't know they just look like veneers and i had to take this one off it's wrinkled because i had to take it off and put it on a different finger because it did not fit also they literally only come with 10 nails i thought you know how in a nail pack it come with extras this was it i got two nails left and i'm like first of all i have wide nail beds how y'all know all these was gonna fit baby i need options so i mean they'll do for the time being i don't know how long they're gonna be on but um i'm gonna file them a little bit more square so they won't look so much like veneers and then I have my cuticle oil here. Let me go get my, um, what you call it, file. Okay, so I'm gonna file them just so I can be a little bit more square because they look like teeth, honey. They looking like veneers. Okay, so I filed them down. That looks a lot better. I'm gonna put my cuticle oil on. Just twist it like that. And I'm dying, that was too much. It's okay. I'm just going to take some and apply it. Go like that. It's dark in here. Hold on. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I'm coming on here looking crazy in my bonnet, but I'm gonna be real quick. As y'all can see, the pillow comforters, we did go ahead and put the comforter on, and we freaking love it. The color is perfect. Um, I'm gonna show y'all after Chris ironed it. He said he gonna iron it for y'all, but it's very wrinkled because we had to keep putting it in the dryer because it's so big, uh, but it did wash well, but we have to keep putting it in the dryer like five times. So. He said that he gonna iron it for y'all because it's so freaking wrinkled and that way y'all can see it so after he do that i'm gonna come over here and just show y'all a full overview of the um comforter but we love it we freaking love it like the color is per perfect it's different um but yeah let me show y'all what we did with the picture in the bathroom so i put this plant here this was in the bedroom on the side where the plant is now and I, it was clashing so i moved it in here this it's supposed to be filled with hand towels. I haven't gotten to that yet, so we just been throwing stuff in there, so disregard that. But I moved this stuff over here. It was over here. Um, and then this is like our toilet paper holder thing. And then here's the picture. It just brings the bathroom together. It looks small, but it's not. It was just missing something over here. So that's that, and then y'all seen it. Did I show y'all this? I made this. Like, this is ugly. So I put like two hooks under here and we just put our towels there. And then I put this picture ledge. I just flipped it upside down. And then we have these three little succulents and a candle. So yeah, it's cute. I got this, this, I got all of this from Ikea, except the towels. These hooks came from Ikea. This ledge came from Ikea. These faux plants came from Ikea. So actually, oh, it's just, Homie, hold on, let me just flip it. Cause we got a light over the shower. It out. looks really cute. Oh, I got, I got this. It's complete. I just wanted to put something on the wall and I was gonna complete it. So the bathroom is done. <laughs> I put you on there. <laughs> Here's a sneak peek. It's so cute. I had this throw from our last uh, comforter set or whatever. And I just add it to it and it gives it a pop of color. It's just a sneak peek because like I said, the whole room is not done. Then we got stuff all on the nightstands. But here's what I was talking about when I was like, it's wrinkled. Chris tried to iron it out, but it didn't really work. It'll fall. That's all right, it'll fall. But it's so cute. I just love this color. And then here's the plant. This is Ace's box. He's gonna always be right there. I don't care how aesthetically pleasing it's not. He's gonna always be there. That has his ashes in it. All his favorite toys, his his water bottle, his collar. He's gonna always be in the room with us. So I left him right there. But here's the plant. I have to get some more rocks. I need one more bag. It was almost just enough, but y'all see like the little holes, but I'll worry about that later. So here's the plant. And let me give y'all an angle from here. I think it looks good. It's coming together. It's giving cozy. Yeah, so sneak peek. <laughs> 